What's going on? I'm Eric Biddens, Palm Beach County, Dale representing the plant coffee bean. On a spot like that, then sometimes when you at, I do better like you know at home. I mean like you know when I'm by myself, but I feel the music and shit it comes out weird. You know. Basically. Yeah, because I can't freestyle at home. But yeah. like if I'm like, if you feel me, somebody, like, oh, shit, I was kind of riding tonight. I might have thought I knew what I was doing. Yeah, it feels good though. It feels good when it comes out right. Oh, yeah, no, nah, that looked good. I was like, I wonder if he, he like in the vibe and he just do something. Oh, something. definitely in the vibe, man. Like, oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's cool. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just cool. 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 Yeah, uh, because it uh, production-wise is done by one producer, me and uh, J Sharp collaborating. So uh, the mu music is sonically, you know, synchronized. And as um, far as like the concept, I really um, dug deep into like uh, my science fiction um, passion, like, like science fiction movies and stuff like that, like Harry Potter. Like I love Harry Potter. I read all the books. Dumbledore, rest in peace. But um, that basically where it took that with the with the title. And everything so I think it's different in that sense because it, it's gonna allow the, the listeners to um, see how far I can expand creatively And it's um, it's basically just talking about like cleansing yourself. Like you go to the laundromat and you just you wash your clothes. But I could just feel like somewhere in my mind it, it being a, a therapeutic thing and like one of those um, like a metaphor uh, to to just get people to go out there and just like find a way to rinse themselves of what's going on, all the dirty stuff in their life. And I I don't know. Just at the moment I was thinking about the song afterwards, after the fact. Sometimes you do stuff and it just registers like how um, real and how much what you did. It makes sense. So at the moment, I think I'm, I'm really vibing with laundromat. That's what I'm doing. I definitely feel like laundromat um, should relate in the same sense walking did, just because as far as um, content-wise, I didn't stress what what it um, should mean to everybody. Because like sometimes you just go with the flow, especially when you're 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 a poet like myself, and you believe that um, words have like magic, like beyond what you're putting in into the actual production of it. So um, with Laundromat, I did that in the same um, sense as walking. Like I just went with the subject and said, I, I, I believe that it's, it's going to do something. And I just let myself go and um, had a little bit. Like it's like this 360 rule like I come with. Where like if you, you um, come up with a subject and it's like 360. If you close it all the way, the, the, the subject matter, then it's like it's no point but for people to believe that this song is about that. When it's like you start the, the subject off and you maybe close it off like 75% and leave room for people to come in and, and use their own interpretation of what the song means. Like I never say I know what the song means. I always let somebody have, have the free will to say this is what this song meant to me. And I never tell anybody they wrong to this day because they technically right with the, the, uh, the position I want to put the song. Wait, hold up, T Green. Pause that DJ room. Wait, that people on the corner selling stolen internet and cable. That's that's that cute. Let's do it right here. Southern Florida niggas on the come up out you getting paper, scraping pennies, whatever to keep a dollar. What you think I do this shit for money? Now I do this for my family. I hate the people on the corner selling stolen internet and cable. Tonight at the, um, the Frozen Lake release, um, I have Music Jones, Drew, Macon, and Blaine. Um, Blaine is an incredible artist that I feel like he's on the rise. He's new. He's like 21 years old. You know, he's also um, he signed to my manager T Green as an artist. So um, um, I feel like the the level we at is not too far. And he's a, he's a great artist. And I want to bring along some of the some of the things that I already got going. And, to some of the stuff. I mean, we ain't too far ahead in like 
experience wise but there's some things that you know I think other people need to know and he can learn from me and like uh making making just is I mean I, I respect her in the sense of how she just carried herself in the, the social networking way and she got so much potential and she willing to learn and I mean I'm not too far myself but like I tell her stuff and she actually listen and do it like sometimes you tell artists like you give your opinion but they don't look at you as being successful enough to you know to, to take it so I was like yeah I, I love making for that because she's a, a student of the game just like my like guy and, and her new music is great I hope she do it tonight Music Jones Drew um, I feel like if I had to put some uh, maybe a couple artists in my same lane as far as like a uh, Category wise, he definitely fit because um like his uniqueness, um his style, his swag, everything, like the whole combination is like we, we mesh good together in the same category. Now the good relationship with him and his people, so it's like it made sense. He can DRA too, so it's like I, I gotta keep it home team at the same time. You know, it, he's an incredible artist. Everybody incredible, everybody hold their own in their same right, but at the same time, like, they support me and I'm, I'm supporting them so it don't look like just no opening act type of thing. It's like accompanying me and really, you know, supporting what I got going on. And although I've been wearing this necklace for like um, maybe going on eight, nine years now, everybody asks me, and it's, it's from my group, Two Slabs, I started off in, and um, it basically represents how deep you know um the the music is and was to us and it's, it's like my foundation although it's such a small part of my career it's, it's still such an important part because it allowed me to grow yeah and, and learn and everything people forget you know um i, I don't forget you put it on the trophy yeah it's my trophy that's thing. your trophy and it, eventually it, it'll get retired after i jump to that next evolution but for now yeah i'm, I'm still remaining humble I'm letting people know this is where I came from in school and it's like an identity thing. I really want to, from the bottom of my coffee cup, give a big shout out to Conflict Rhymes. They're doing big, beautiful things for the city and I mean, they, they open it up in a whole other light that we've never seen and I wish them boys much success. Daniel, the whole team, like everybody because you, you know they all such a part of me being here today so anything i need conflict rhymes is special anything on that it's just how the conflict rhymes will remember when you die see i will never leave the music seed made plant me in the middle of the street and watch the tree raise we sleep we pray we think by pain